Here it is, the White House, 110,000 adorned in white, supporting their nittany lines in the wildest, most raucous atmosphere in the country. As many Penn State players would say afterwards, this is why they came to Penn State to play football. Conference opener, national TV, and an instant classic, orchestrated by two ranked teams. Number 21, Illinois, became the first team to score in the first quarter against Penn State all season when they moved 60 yards on six plays with Jason Ford leaping in for a 7-0 lead. But Darrell Clark and company were more than ready for the challenge. High kick, Williams at the 5. Derek 10, 15 to his right, 20, through a seat, 25, tripped up at the 28-yard line. Clark takes the snap. Over the middle, Zuck, first down, 40, 42-yard line. Clark takes the snap. Clark, inside handoff, 45, 50, powering ahead, Royster, close to the first down. Clark keeps it to the right, turns the corner, 45, directing traffic, 40. Clark up field, 35, and out of bounds, inside the 35 to the 31-yard line. Good block downfield by Derek Williams. With Jordan Norwood, one of the Lions' best receivers, out with a tender hamstring, the Nittany Lions went about the business of showing the rest of the country the HD spread offense that Penn State fans had been enjoying for a month. It's aggressive, creative, well-coached, and very entertaining. It had the White House rocking, and most important, it tied the game. They got an opportunity right now to set the tone in the Big Ten and do it here at home. Two tights, wing right from the eye, quarterback sneak, Darrell Clark, Darrell Clark, touchdown, Penn State. The Mitney Lions go 73 yards and they answer Illinois. But Illinois would answer as well. While Penn State had breezed through their non-conference schedule, they would face some adversity against the Illini, a team that had never won at Beaver Stadium. Not only did they score in their first possession, but they did it again on their second. 7-7, 3.30 to go first quarter. Williams play action fake, looks downfield, goes for the end zone! After review, it was determined that the runner's feet came down inbounds in possession of the ball. As a result, it's a touchdown. Perhaps it was a good way to start. The Nittany Lions proved they could not only take a punch, but could throw one right back and quickly against a ranked opponent. Corliss breaks tackle, 30 yard line, 31, first down Nittany Lions. It's Clark, back he goes. Time over the middle. It's caught by Williams, 35-40. Derek, 45. To the right, to midfield. Breaking tackles and finally brought down at the 50. This is like a basketball move. Yeah. Derek Williams comes down in the slot formation, fakes an out pattern with his shoulders, and comes back in the middle of the field, and he is wide open. On third and two, Clark to his right, design run. Turns the corner, first down, 40. Cuts inside, 35, and that might be a horse collar right there. And with 48 seconds left in the quarter, 110,000 love it. Clark takes the snap, play action, rolls near side. He's open. Wide open on the wheel round, it's Williams! Touchdown, Penn State! The Denny Lions go 81 yards and they answer again. The electrifying first quarter ended 14-14, foreshadowing a great evening of football with Derek Williams making a little history. But not before Penn State's defense adjusted, shutting the Illini out cold the rest of the half. Now the Nittany Lions look for the lead. Back goes Clark. He throws downfield. It's caught the 40. Butler 35, 34-yard line and a first down for Penn State. And he blew wide open against that Illini secondary. Corliss in motion toward us. Clark gets the snap. Rolls near side. Looks near side. He throws. It's caught. First down, 21-yard line. And Derek Williams is just having a monster first half here right now, making plays all over the field. I love to watch his Penn State offensive line execute the screens. And how nice would it be to be a running back. You make the catch, you just follow the convoy downfield. First and goal at the five. They get the ball to Williams to the far corner block for Waller. Touchdown, Penn State, the Nittany Lions take the lead. Penn State had scored touchdowns on three straight drives, but took control of the game because they were able to contain quarterback Juice Williams in the Illini offense, which managed just 35 yards the rest of the half after their second possession. Throws over the middle, intercepted by Anthony Scarano at the 48-yard line of Illinois. It was hard to tell if the more impressive show was in the stands or on the field, but it is a special marriage between team and fans, feeding off each other for the perfect primetime party. 21-14 Penn State at the break, and the Lions continued to pound and pursue in the second half. A Kevin Kelly field goal up the lead to 10, but Illinois started to move with the option. Methodical drive by Illinois to get down to the 15. Back he goes, loads it up, waits, down the middle, knocked away by A.J. Wallace, and incomplete on a fine defensive play in the end zone. 
The Nittany Lion defense forced a field goal try, which Illinois kicker Matt Eller missed from 33 yards. And Stephon Green lost a fumble in his own territory. The defense held, but it gave Eller another try, and this time he made it from 43 yards, setting up the biggest play of the game. See if Penn State can get a big play here. The line drive toward the corner. It's going to bounce stay in the field of play. Williams picks it up at the 6 to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Williams to the 40, to the 50. There goes Derek Williams at the high gear at the 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Derek Williams, his third touchdown of the night. One receiving, one rushing, and now an electrifying 94-yard kickoff return. And the Nittany Lions are back up by two scores. Special teams is going to be big in big games like this and look like Derek Williams made one of the biggest plays. Williams is the first player under Joe Paterno to score in a run, pass, and return in the same game. But Illinois wasn't going to go gently into that central Pennsylvania night. Juice Williams found a wide open Aurelius Ben for a 54-yard touchdown, and the lead was cut to seven again with most of the fourth quarter still remaining. But all four times Illinois scored in this game, Penn State responded with a score of their own, every time someone different making a big play to answer the call. Quarterback Darrell Clark was a terrific leader the entire night. First and 10 at the Illinois 46. Clark rolls near side, gets a block from Waller, delivers downfield for Williams, caught at the 31-yard line, and a Penn State first down. Clark takes the snap. Back he goes. Pump face. Looks. Throws in the end zone for Corliss. Touchdown! Penn State! And in the clutch, the Nittany Lions respond. This offensive line gave a great pocket for Clark to sit in there and sit in there and just a little flick touch pass in the corner of the end zone. And I don't think a whole lot of people realize how good Corliss is, and that secondary from Illinois just found out. The entire country found out how good Penn State is. It may just be a first step in a long journey of Big Ten games, but it was a step taken emphatically in the right direction, taken in an atmosphere that has helped them win 24 of their last 26 at home.